Hey, what's going on, guys? Goose here, man. And before I get started, if you're new to the channel, if you're a sports fan, make sure you uh, subscribe to the channel. We do a lot of live streams on the channel when there is live sports around. And uh, I do I try to uh, try to do try to do a couple videos, a few several videos a week. But this one is gonna be about the uh, New Orleans Saints. So subscribe, ring the notification bell, and give the video a thumbs up if you're new. All right. So the Saints. Saints have five picks in this uh, 2020 NFL Draft. They have a first, a third, a fourth, a fifth, and a sixth. So no second, no seventh. So uh, I found a site. I'll put a link in the description. It's a pretty cool site. It's a, it's a mock simulator where you you can simulate the draft. You can either simulate the whole draft, or you can pick it yourself. It's pretty cool. Or you can or you can just pick a team that you want to pick for. It's a pretty cool, pretty cool site. The only thing is, is that I don't think there's. A, I didn't see the trade here. You can't do any trades with this one. Uh, but wish they uh, had that. But other than that, it's pretty cool. So the Saints. So the Saints pick, uh, first pick is the 24th pick in the draft. And uh, I had them picking Patrick Queen. Patrick Queen was, uh, as a, was a linebacker out of LSU. Saints need linebacker help. As uh, Anzalone just, uh, okay, Anzalone cannot stay healthy for the Saints. He's been hurt the two years he's been here. He was hurt when he was at Florida. Um, I questioned the pick when they uh, drafted him. But he has a lot of talent. I get, I agree. Anzalone has a has a ton of talent. He just you know, just can't stay healthy. I think Alonzo Kiki Kiko Alonzo was a good player. But I just I think the Saints need they need another playmaker to go on with the Demario Davis. I think Patrick Queen could be that player. So I had them uh, had the Saints picking Patrick Queen uh, at pick number twenty four. All right, they don't pick again until the third round, pick number eighty eight, and I have them going Van Jefferson. Van Jefferson started his career at the University of Ole. At Mississippi, he went to, he went to, he went to Ole Miss the, uh, for the first two years. Last two years, he was at the uh, at the University of Florida. He had he uh, for the four year for the four years he's been at those two schools. He has over two thousand yards receiving, sixteen touchdowns. Uh, last year, he had six hundred fifty seven yards receiving. I think the Saints still need help at at the receiver spot, even though they went and got got Emmanuel Sanders to give us a uh, you know another legit number two receiver. Something the Saints haven't had in quite a while i still think they need somebody else uh to be that third fourth receiver and uh the saint the receiver has been a problem especially in the playoffs uh saints fans know it uh all too well they double up michael thomas nobody else steps up and nobody else can catch the ball nobody else can get open and the saints offense uh stalls in the they stall in the playoffs and uh so i think i think more another another playmaker on offense would help out the saints tremendously had them picking van jefferson in the third round okay fourth round fourth round i had them this is a little different pick i look at the uh when uh in this little mock team letter i looked at who was available and you know what i said you know what? i think the saints should take a chance on this i think the saints should take a chance on this because you know what they're gonna they're gonna need to, to address the quarterback position i'm not really sold on Taysom hill being the starter i know sean payton has come out and said that you know they have tremendous confidence in him but i had them taking anthony gordon the quarterback out of washington Washington State. He threw for over he threw for 50, 5,500 yards last season. Forty eight touchdowns, sixteen interceptions. Like I said, the Saints they're going to need to address the quarterback position at some point because Drew Brees is this his last year? Is next year his last year? So you're going to have to address this. So I think uh, looking at the draft, look who was available. I said, you know what? Let's. I think if I was if I was uh, Sean Payton, Nick Lumis, maybe I, maybe I would take a chance on Anthony Gordon and uh, see what he has. Uh, he might turn out he might turn out to be your uh, franchise next. No franchise quarterback. All right. And the Saints uh, don't pick again until the fifth round. That's uh, pick number 170. And another needed position I think the Saints desperately need is edge rusher. As uh, we saw last last year, uh, Davenport got hurt. Uh, Sheldon Rankins got hurt again. And that just that's just that, that affected the Saints in the playoff game against the Vikings. We had, we had, zero, we had zero pass rush. We couldn't rush the passer. So I think the Saints need to address that. And Cam Jordan even said that he was kind of nicked up in that game, too. So I think the Saints need to address the edge rusher position. So I had them taking uh, Travis Gibson Gibson out of uh, Tulsa University, an edge rusher, as uh, he had eight sacks last season for the uh, for Tulsa. So I think I think, this, I, think, I think I think the Saints need to address this uh, edge rusher. And I think this is somebody the Saints maybe maybe need to look at late in the uh, late in the draft. Maybe you can find a diamond in the rough. Maybe you can find somebody you know that can can be that rotation player that can uh, spell you no know, Davenport and uh, Sheldon Rankins and uh, give you some depth in that position. So I have them taking Travis Gibson in the in the uh, fifth round. Okay, sixth round. 
pick number 204. I had them go in defense again. And this is a guy that most people, you know, probably never heard of. Uh, he plays at North Dakota State. I mean, North Dakota State's an FCS school. But, look, uh, they have uh, they have been dominant in the FCS. So they've won, what, eight, I think, uh, eight, eight national titles in nine years. I don't care what, what uh, you know, what level of football you're playing at. Uh, they put, they, you know, they have, they have, obviously they have talent on that football team. And uh, I think the Saints need to take a look at this guy, Derek, but Tuska, T-U-S-Z-K-A. As he's, uh, he's, he was a four-year starter for them. He had 13 and a half sacks last season as a senior. He had 29 and a half for his four-year career at North Dakota State. Another guy, another guy that's a, it's a late round pick. Uh, he you know, he should be available here at late in the sixth round. Like I said, you can maybe you can find somebody a diamond in the rough. Maybe you can find you know I'm, we're not expecting him to be a starter by any means, but you need somebody else. You need some you need some rotation players just to spell Davenport and Sheldon Rankins and just in case they get hurt because uh, once they got once those two pe- players got hurt, you know then the backups had to uh, step in those roles and you know they weren't you no know, starter quality. So I think the more players you have at the edge rusher position that you can rotate in and out, keep players fresh, I think that would be uh, good news for the Saints. So I kind of haven't taken. So I'll, I'll put the I'll put the link in the description for this uh, this website that I found, and also I'll put a description. I'll put a uh, I'll put a you know, the the mock draft I have. So I haven't I have taken Patrick Queen, Van Jefferson, Anthony Gordon, Travis Gibson, and Derek Tuska, and uh, that's what I have the. Uh, Saints taken. So have a great one, guys, and I will chat with you next time.